Realtors, if you're on Lofty for the very first time and you just don't even know where to start, well, this video is for you. I'm gonna walk you through the very beginning stages of Lofty so you can get set up and working the right way. So let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so if this is your first time ever signing into Lofty, you're gonna see a screen that looks just like this, and you're just gonna basically follow it. It's really self-explanatory from this part here. Um, so you just hit start, come in here. This is your business profile. So they're gonna ask you to go ahead and fill this out here. So you can put your business name right here, and then you can just go ahead and come over here and upload your business logo. So we'll just throw EXP in there, and then you click next, right? And then it's gonna ask you for your headshot. So we're gonna jump back over here. We're gonna grab our headshot and go ahead and make sure that that's centered right there and we're good to go. So there you go. I mean, obviously you could resize that so we could come back in, um, try to bring this up more, right? It gives us a whole space here. So there we go, that looks a little bit better. And then now we can upload that, that looks definitely much better. And then you can put your position in here, which we're gonna be an agent or a broker associate or a broker, whatever you are. You'd go ahead and fill that out there and then just click next. And then next here, we can go ahead and add all of our social media there. So if you're already logged into your social media on the same browser that you're using on Lofty, you can literally just click add and then approve and add and approve. And this is gonna connect all your social media accounts. So that way Lofty can use the social studio platform and make posts on your behalf. You can schedule posts out and do a whole bunch of really cool stuff with Lofty. So for this part here, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip. So if you didn't wanna hook up your social media, you didn't have to real quick. You could just go ahead and uh, click skip, come back to that later. And then next you're gonna see, now we're 100% set up there and now they're gonna ask us to go ahead and set up our website. So. First things first, you just come in here and choose a template. Guys, you can change this template at any time. So don't get stuck on picking the first template right here. Just go ahead and just preview it um, and then you can select it. Now I am on a demo account right now, so it's not gonna let me select one here, but you can preview these and see what these look like um, and, and then go ahead and select that uh, once, you're, once you're ready there. So once you choose the template, you can come back over here and you can provide your website domain. So if you have a custom domain, like for instance, mine is adamg303.com. This is my main website for my real estate uh, business. So you put this in here and then you go, go ahead and click confirm. And it's gonna say it's already existed because I already have it. But what this is gonna do is this is gonna get ready to set you up with the vanity domain. So instead of using the website that comes with this, which is usually like your name dot last name dot lofty dot me dot com. Like it's kind of, it's just a funky little uh, domain. So when you use your own custom domain, it makes it that much better. And um, obviously we're using our own domain. So the web traffic comes to us and uh, helps us out with our SEO. So um, you would have to uh, go ahead and put something in there. So we'll just do adamg303.com and then we can confirm that. And then it's gonna say, please confirm this is a correct website domain. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. And then it says success. And then we go ahead and come back here. Now it wants you to go ahead and connect your MLS. So this is really good that they finally added this step in here um, because this is the process here that can take the most time. And if we don't follow this instructions correctly, then you're gonna wonder why your, your IDX hasn't been hooked up uh, or your MLS connection, which is your IDX connection, hasn't been hooked up. Um, and sometimes there's different steps that you guys have to take through this process and it really depends on the MLS. So what you do is you come in here and you search for your MLS. Mine is RE Colorado. So I find it right here. And then you got to enter your subscriber name, right? So, or your email or agent ID. So I'll just do this. Here I am, right? And then you're going to fill out all this information. It's going to have your broker's name, everything like that, your office address, everything right here. And then you can come over here and hit submit. Oh, I got to do my broker's first and last name. I don't know if I spelled that right, but that's okay. Uh, we're just doing this temporarily here. And then now this is the, where it's key, right? Is that different MLSs are different, okay? Um, so some of them will have an application that you have to fill out and that information is gonna be below here, okay? So that's really important because if people get excited and you just click okay, then you lose that and then you don't really understand where you're at. So you can always see the status of where you're at right here. 
Okay, you're gonna see we're on step one of four. So Lofty's gonna review the application. Lofty's gonna review your application within 48 hours to ensure all required information is accurate. And they're gonna go ahead and send that MLS request or that, that IDX connection request to my MLS. And then the MLS will basically sign their contract and then we'll have an agreement and the IDX will be connected. Now, this happened automatically for me. So as you can see, I didn't have to go fill out an application. That's not the same for every state. So it's really important that you guys read those instructions. Uh, and obviously guys, if you have any questions, just hit me up. I'd be more than happy to point you guys in the right direction on that. Uh, but that is key guys, this is the biggest thing. So. Um, like I said, I'm on a demo account, so I need to go to Lofty and tell them to shut this down, uh, this, this application, but um, that's the step. You can see we've got four steps, so then it'll wait on me. Like, I'll be contacted for any additional information, and then you're gonna see the MLS is reviewing the application, and then they finally integrate the data, and that is how they get the IDX set up. Next is gonna be the domain configuration. Now, domain configuration can get tricky, guys, so that's kind of a case-by-case -case basis, but basically, they give you this set of instructions here. So you're going to log into your domain provider. All right. And then, so if it's GoDaddy or whatever, you log into there. And once you've done that, you click I've logged in. And then you're going to go to the pages on your domain site where you actually are able to adjust your DNS settings or manage the, uh, the, the domain settings. Okay. Um, so you're going to find that in GoDaddy or whatever platform that you're at. You're going to click, I found my domain settings. And then in the domain settings, there's an error, error where <laughs> there's an area where you can edit your DNS server records. And this is where a lot of people get confused. They don't know what to put in there, right? So if you come in here and you say, okay, I at least found the area where I can enter this in, you go ahead and click that. And now Lofty is going to tell you what to do. Okay. So for example, your Lofty website's gonna be configured to the, your domain name was abc.com. Then your A records would need to be configured here. Okay, so what you would do is you're gonna see a menu like this inside your, uh, your DNS settings on your, uh, uh, on your domain host website like GoDaddy. And you can come in there and edit these. And what you're gonna do is just make sure that the type matches this type here, which is the letter A. The name is gonna be your domain name, right? Here's the value here is gonna be the 52.52.24.52. And then just make sure the TTTL, uh, the TTL's on automatic, and then you do that for both sections here, right? And then you say, okay, I've updated my A records. And then they're gonna say, okay, now you need to add a new C name record. So then you go into your C name, right? You're gonna see the C name there, and you're gonna change the value to your website, right? So that's gonna be whatever your domain name is, and just make sure the name says www, and the TTL says automatic and then you're good to go. So that would actually configure the domain. And then for, you know, just so you guys know, it can take a couple of hours for that to update on the DNS records. So your website may not immediately work on that domain. Check back in a couple of hours and you should be good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click skip on that. But if you had completed all of that, it would say that you're 100% finished here. And then the next are these three steps here, all right? So then we go into communication setup. And this is where you can choose your virtual number. Virtual numbers are super important because if we're marketing these virtual numbers, then it keeps all of our client communication and data in the same, in one place. And that's huge guys. I have another video that I'll drop on why the virtual number is so important, but I use my virtual number for all of my marketing and every single piece of communication, email, text, and phone calls all saves under Lofty. So I'm never running on my phone trying to find a text thread for a number that I didn't save or whatever that looks like, right? So to do this, you just enter an area code in. You're gonna see I chose 303, but there's no more availability there. So now I go to um, 720. There's none, uh, no um, uh, available area codes. I know Colorado has another one. So let's just say like 719. Here we go, this is another area code here that's outside of the metro area. Um, so if your area code's not available, that's a bummer. Um, I think that we could probably figure something out if we call Lofty or something, maybe, I don't know, uh, we'd have to check with them. But uh, we could just select a number here, right? So this says the account is a test or demo account, so I can't actually set up a number, uh, but you would go do that, okay? So we'd hit next, right? And then next you need to register the number so that way we can text from it, right? So US phone carriers require tests, <clears throat> sorry. So US phone carriers require texts that are sent via platforms like Lofty and other CRMs to be registered traffic only. So you have to register for an A2P 10 DLC. I know that was a mouthful, uh, but we register for that and it's required. So Lofty helps you register for that. 
Um, if you don't know what to do, there's a little video down here that'll show you what to do. It's pretty convenient. Um, and one of the reasons why I like Lofty. So I'm going to go ahead and click register later and I'm going to skip this step. Going to the next step, we're going to connect our emails. So if you're using uh, Office 365 or Gmail, you would want to connect those now. And then you can go ahead and hit next and go to the calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my Gmail just so that way we can hit this next step. All right. Google wants access to your account or Lofty does. That's great. All right. So there we go. Um, I probably have to fix that later, <laughs> but uh, here's the calendar. So then you go ahead and connect your calendar and then you can connect your email domain as well. Um, if you uh, are using a specific email domain. Okay. So let's go ahead and skip this. Um, and here you go. So you can configure your own email address domain uh, that's going to be sending the automated and mass emails to you. So if you guys are with like EXP or Real or, or HomeSmart or whoever else is offering Lofty now as part of the brokerage, you're not going to be able to change this part. So your automatic emails are going to come from a different domain than your actual Gmail or whatever email you connected to. That's okay because they are already whitelisted with Amazon Web Servers, which is who handles that domain. Um, and that means that those emails are less likely to land in spam, um, making sure that you're not putting out spammy language inside the email. But because of their whitelisted um, um, their, their whitelisted status, those emails typically land in spam a little bit less often. But now if somebody replies to that email and then you reply back, it starts coming back from your normal domain email. Um, so it doesn't keep coming from that one, but that's just how the automat automated ones are working. If you're under a brokerage that doesn't allow you to change that. Now, if you're on a full rip of Lofty and you're on your own, you can change this to whatever email address you want. All right, cool. So next one's user management. So you can invite your users. So if you got a team, you can start inviting your team over here. All right. And uh, once you're done with that, you can build your database. And this is where you'd import the database. Now, Lofty wants you to do this part now. But guys, I kind of would rather set up the foundation before I move people into the house, right? Like, let's build the house first before we move anybody in. It'll be a lot easier, right? So um, you can go ahead and import your database if you want. They've got a nice video on here on exactly how to do that. And then there's also another video right up here, I'll throw in the corner, um, that will actually uh, show you how to import your leads as well. Um, and you can basically connect Zillow, Realtor.com, and any other lead channels uh, that you want. But once again, guys, I would much rather build the foundation before I move people in or build the entire house. So that way, uh, we're ready to plug everybody into where they need to go when they come in, right? So from there, that's the basic setup. And our next step is landing here on the dashboard. And that's going to be it for this video. So in the next one, we're going to go over a brand new overview of the Lofty user interface because you guys have probably seen my old Lofty YouTube uh, full overview uh, and it's unfortunately outdated now. So I'm going to be re-updating that and posting that soon. So keep an eye out for that. And that's it for today. All right, guys, there you have it. That's the nitty gritty on exactly how you set up Lofty for the first time. I hope you found value in this. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any awesome Lofty tutorials. Until next time, guys, stay tuned because I'm going to be updating a whole bunch of videos on the Getting Started with Lofty series. So that way you guys are in tune with Lofty as of 2025. I'll see you on the next one. Cause I'm a